Hi everyone, my name is Stefan. I'm a PM on the Remote Desktop Services team. One of the features that I'm currently working on is MSX AppAttach. And what I'm going to cover today is the process of creating an MSX image. So we're going to cover the old way of doing it. And then I will also cover the new way. We we'll obviously need a machine where this is going to happen. So here I have a machine. We will need a starting MSX package have an MSX package here and we will need the MSX manager which is available at this link. Now first step I would need to explain to you what an MSX image is. An MSX image is the concept of taking an MSX, expanding it and putting it in a VHD or VHDX or SIM. So the very first step for me if I want to create um, MSX image is to obviously create a VHD. So this is how we used to do it. This is how it was documented in our um, documentation. So we're going to come into the disk manager, give it a minute, then we'll come action, create VHD, we'll specify destination location, See temp and we'll call this Microsoft Edge Image and we're gonna say man for manual. We'll use a VHD uh, for this example. Now we will need to specify the size of this VHD in megabytes or gigabytes or terabytes. Now my Microsoft Edge is about 400 megabyte. My row is times three, so that will be 1.2 gigabytes or 400 megabytes. Okay. So this will create the VHD on the CTEM folder. Now the next step for those of you that are familiar with how VHDs behave will be to go grab that VHD, mount it. Okay, I guess I did not know that the first time or it's really taking its time. Oops. Yeah, it just took some longer. Now, so the first step will be to obviously initialize the disk. Then it will be to create a new simple volume. Okay. And since we're going to use this one for MSX app attach to store an image, we need to create a parent folder in the uh, a root folder for all where all the packages will go in case we have multiple. You don't have to do this manually here. You can script it with PowerShell. Um, but this is the really the, the process of creating a VHD file to act as the storage for our expanded MSX. Now the next step will be to expand the MSX. For that we need command prompt. We we'll need to run that as administrator. Uh, and then here we need, the, we need to make sure that we navigate to the folder where our MSX manager is uh, located. So it's located in here for me, and different in your environment. Okay. And then I would need to provide the command line, which is MSX manager. And then we need to uh, define what we are doing, where we're taking it, uh, and uh, where are we going to expand it into. So we're going to say dash unpack. And then we need, the uh, we need to specify the package path that does the source package. In my case, it's on the desktop. So right click, copy as path. So this is my source path. And then I am going to say uh, destination. And the destination will be C, oh, well, sorry, it's not going to be C temp, but will be our E drive, right? In the apps folder. That is where we are expanding into. Okay. Now there's one more uh, very important switch 
here, which is the apply echoes switch. And if I tapped everything correctly, we'll be able to run this command. And I have a mistake, so let's try again and see what did I miss. Now I think uh, it's hmm. Let's say up my echoes, and since I'm not very good at typing apparently, I will need to come here and make sure that my destination is properly spelled. Click enter. This uh, how long it's going to take depends on your machine, your application size. And you can see, very uneventful, finish unpacking the packages onto eApps. So now let's go there, take a look. Yeah, we can see right away, the package was expanded. This is actually the name of the application, the version, the architecture, and a part of the uh, certificate signature. And here we can actually see our loose file MSX. That's what this is called. Now at this point, I will eject this VHD and it's ready to be uploaded to my storage account to be app attached. Now, this was the old way of doing it. Um, and again, I'm going to recap the old way. The old way was create the VHD manually, initialize, format, then use the MSX manager to expand the msx package into the manager now the new way or the after way of doing this uh, it's online at this blog post and it's uh, i would say it's much simpler to do the, the new way because we only have to do one command it's actually the same command line to the msx manager but our destination will be a folder on the C drive. So in this case, I'm going to put it in C temps. Sorry, C temp. Let's go make sure that uh, what's there. And just since I want this demo to be even better, I'm going to say new folder. Uh, Microsoft Edge MSX. Manager. And in this folder, we're going to put the destination, oh, sorry, the, the result of what we're going to run right now. We're going to say again, apply echoes, but now here is where it becomes slightly different. We're going to say create, then we're going to specify the size, the VHD size, and the size will be. Uh, 120 megabytes, same thing as in the manual process, same logic. We also gonna say the file type, in this case is a VHD. Now that we have the, the VHD specified, we... And finally, uh, we'll say file type it was VHD and the root directory so we're gonna specify here file type we're gonna say VHD then we are also going to define that we want a root directory that is a requirement for MSX app attach and I'm going to again use the 
apps root directory. It doesn't have to be apps, but that's my um, uh, habit. Now, one thing that I miss here is I am not only going to specify the folder, but I will create, I will specify the file, the name of the VHD, the name of the file that I want to create, and this will be Microsoft Edge Dev MSIX Manager dot VHD. I'm gonna run this, and we'll see if I missed something in the syntax. You can create. Uh, see here on that destination folder, we created a VHD of that specified size, and now there are additional operations happening here. Those additional operations is the expansion. Again, your performance here will vary on the how big your VM is, how fast your CPU is, and the size of the application. And you can see that after the expansion was done, it started doing a lot of automated steps that before we had to do manually. And eventually, uh, this will succeed. And uh, while it's doing that, we are going to recap the process. Oh, I don't have to recap the process. It's done. OK, so with one command line tool, we created a VHD. We expanded our image. Now I went and mounted it, and you can see it's the same file, right? It's the same thing. But we have automated this entire process. Now, before, after, I think the, the change is amazing, but there is more. Now, if we come here and we say that I want sim. Then I specify the file type of sim. The same command line tool can be used to generate sim files. So let's go open that same folder. We say temp msx manager Microsoft Edge msx manager, and you can see the process has started. It will take some time. After all, we're expanding uh, 400 megabytes, and you can see. It didn't take that long, honestly, but it takes some time. We successfully created the same file. And if we exclude the VHD for a second, which is um, was there before, this is our SIM file. So you can see the payload file. Well, it's one of the original files and the Microsoft Edge MSX Manager SIM. So this is the one we need to, uh, these seven files are the ones that we need to copy to our folder to be able to perform MSX Avatar. Recap. Please use the MSX Manager to generate your VHDs for MSX Avatar much easier, much faster. Thank you.